Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I wanted to take a second to first announce the winners of the 10K giveaway, but also just take some time to freaking thank you. It was so special to read through that comment those comments and I sent a message to the whole team just urging them to go read the comments and just to see what an impact we are making. When we say the tagline train, educate, and empower, that's truly what we want to do and that's at the core of everything we do within this business. We want to be the last coach that you'll ever need. We want to be that resource that you turn to and can trust when you're looking for anything fitness related. So just thank you for the sweet messages and thank Thank you for the support along the way. I'll be getting back to all of the comments. I know I got to a good chunk of them. And then for the winners, of course, we are gonna announce them here, but we also will be commenting back on your comment to make sure that we're able to get in touch with you. We did do this as a more random winner choice because we did not know that we were gonna get so many sweet comments. So it was done with a random name picker going through as well as the additional entries that that people had from posting on their Instagram stories. I am gonna read out the comments that people did post just because I think it's special and I wanna thank you again for commenting uh, as it really does help our channel. Truthfully, when you guys comment on our stuff, it helps all of our social channels grow because I also saw, saw some comments saying like, I'm surprised you guys aren't bigger, which, the comments do help, so keep commenting. But it was also something that, like I said, we'll go ahead and comment, make sure we get in touch. We do have some backup winners that I won't be announcing. That's just if we can't get in touch with the people that originally won. So the 10 winners here are gonna start off with Erica Gears. She said, I love seeing all of your personalities come out on YouTube, so informative and fun. Thank you so much, Erica. The next up is Madison Shook. She said, I love PD. I love all of the information and education you guys continuously put out for free. It has changed my way of lifting in the best way. Congrats on 10K followers. You guys deserve it. Thank you, Madison. Abigail Pryor, I really enjoy physique development's content on YouTube, Instagram, and of course the podcast. You all know how to break down fitness and nutrition information and education so it can be easily understood and accessible for all stages and levels of fitness. Thank you for the great content and wonderful personalities PD team. Congratulations on 10K. Thank you so much, Abigail. Next up is Amanda Grigio, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing any of these. She said, I want to win the story or the protein, which congrats, Amanda, you have won a story gift card. I've been following along your prep and your de dedication is super inspirational. Thank you so much, Amanda. Diva Landva, I love PD because y'all have the most positive vibes. As a law student, you guys have taught me how to stay motivated and fit. I feel less anxious and I look up to you both so much. Thank you so much, Diva. Next up is Ari Music. I'm loving the vlogs from PD lately. I feel like I'm getting to know you all more and learn along the way. This is another great example of quality content that PD puts out. You all are appreciated so much. Thank you, Ari. Marissa Cox, just found your channel yesterday. Welcome, Marissa. Helped me with my step ups. Thank you, really enjoying the videos. I can't decide which I would take. I would take anything. Next up is Austin Hyde. He says, you guys are the best and I love working with you. It's been fun to watch physique development grow from the Alex and Austin IIFYM college days to the coaching training powerhouse it is now. What a freaking throwback. If you've been around since campus physique or the beginning of physique development, then thank you so much. Uh, Jordan is next up. She said, I wanna win at the Legion stack. Love you guys. Well, congrats, Jordan. You have now won the Legion stack. And then last, but definitely not least, is Daisy B. She said, I strongly believe that if you want to change your reality, you have to surround yourself around people that inspire you. I don't have a lot of people around me that inspire me, but I have found people that inspire me online like y'all. Everyone at PD is such a badass. And if I'm ever feeling like I'm falling back into my comfort zone, I want to watch one of y'all's podcasts or video to help me remember to continue to put in the mental reps. Thanks for inspiring me. Thank you so much. Daisy. So I know for some of you, I said exactly what you want. So Jordan, you will win the Legion stack. And then uh, Amanda, you will be winning a story gift card 
for the rest of you guys. We will be in touch to figure out who wins what, but this is something that I am just so incredibly thankful for all of your guys' support. And if you entered and you did not win, do not fear. We love giving away stuff, swag, remember? Stuff you all get or stuff you all give. So we will be doing a plenty of more giveaways and especially if we keep hitting milestones within the podcast and the YouTube. But thank you so, so much and enjoy the rest of the video. You know what makes reaching your goals that much harder? Your food not tasting good. So that's what I'm here to help you out with. Here are five tips to ensure that you do not have dry proteins when you cook them. I know when it comes to meal prep, it can be very difficult and defeating, especially if you go and you make your food and it doesn't taste good. So I'm gonna help with that a little bit. Number one is going to be setting out the meat beforehand. You wanna get it down to room temperature. Now you don't want it to be warm to the touch by any means, but anything outside of the fridge is gonna be helpful, whether it's for 10 minutes or for a couple of hours. Getting it to a more room temperature feeling is gonna be a lot better for it. The other thing here is making sure that you're not throwing it on a hot pan. This is what I see a lot of the times is they heat the pan up super hot, they're taking it out of the cold fridge, throwing it down, you hear this big sizzle, and then it ends up drying the meat out or not cooking it all the way through. So one side is pretty dry and the other side is uncooked. It makes for a difficult time when you're cooking that meat. And the next tip here is going to be making sure that your pan is big enough. So this is something that I get it, you wanna get it done and you don't wanna be in there for too long, but it is the sort of thing that you want to ensure that you have enough space in your pan for everything to cook evenly. So I like to make sure that I really only have one pound of meat per pan, unless it's a bigger pan, then I can fit two pounds of meat in there. And then number four is going to be using a meat masher to mash it all up. This is gonna be super duper helpful, again, just to distribute the meat evenly on the pan and to make sure every single piece gets cooked and making sure that it is not unevenly cooked. And then number five is going to be once you take it off the pan of letting it cool down before you put a lid on it and before you put it in the fridge. Because if you do the opposite of these things, like I said, taking it straight from the fridge, putting it in a hot pan and putting it in a pan that's too small or too much meat in a normal size pan, taking it off, putting the lid on and putting it straight in the fridge it is going to be extremely dry because when you put that lid on right after you've cooked it, it is gonna put it in a spot that it's gonna continue to cook. And then you're also putting it in a cold environment in the fridge. So it's still cooking and it's cooling down. You've already overcooked it and made it dry. So that is a recipe for disaster. So if you do the opposite of those, let it sit out, put it in a pan that heats up with the meat. So don't turn on the stove until the meat is in the pan, as well as making sure the pan is big enough, using the meat masher, making sure it's evenly distributed, letting it cool off. That is going to be the key to some better tasting meal prep. Please let me know if you try this and if your food turned out a lot better because I get it, it's no fun to eat dry food or tasteless food. So I hope that this helped you and I'll catch you in the next video.